Our cycling group is just a bunch of everyday riders, friends who love getting out together, not pros or elite athletes. Most of us eat something before a ride, especially if it's over 20 miles. But one day, we decided to do something different. Five of us set out to ride 75 miles, which was way beyond our usual distance without any breakfast. No bars, no shakes, just water. We expected a crash, but it never came. Most of us rode strong, no bonking, no cramps, just steady energy. But one rider did hit a wall. Not from lack of food, it was dehydration. And it was rough. So how did the rest of us get through it? Your body doesn't just rely on what you ate that morning. It stores fuel as glycogen and even more as fat. Most people carry about 2,000 calories of glycogen, but over 40,000 calories of stored fat, even if you're lean. With consistent training, your body can learn to use fat for fuel, especially during lower-intensity endurance rides. This is called metabolic flexibility, your ability to shift between using carbs or fat based on the demand. Fasted training helps build that skill, not for weight loss, but for performance efficiency. A 2020 review published in Nutrients looked at fasted exercise and training. It found that fasted endurance workouts can increase fat oxidation, improve insulin sensitivity, and promote metabolic adaptations without reducing performance in trained adults. Now let's be clear, this doesn't mean everyone should skip breakfast. On most days, especially for longer or intense rides, our team still fuels up. But that ride reminded us of two big things. One, your body is capable of more than you think. And two, hydration is everything. No food, maybe. No water, that's when the real danger starts. Fasted riding can work if you train for it and stay smart. Know your body. Fuel with intention.